Officials from Japan's Meteorological Agency report that a powerful 8.5 magnitude earthquake struck near the Ogasawara Island chain in southern Japan. The quake hit at 11.24 UTC, 8.24 p.m. Japan time. In Ogasawara and parts of Kanagawa near Tokyo, the tremor registered 5 plus on the Japanese intensity scale of 0 to 7. I was really scared. It was shaking pretty hard. The nearby utility pole was moving too. The tremor measured 1 to 3 on the intensity scale of the wider areas from Hokkaido, northern Japan, to Okinawa, southwestern Japan. Police and fire department authorities are checking for damage. Officials at the meteorological agency say there is no danger of tsunami waves. The focus of this earthquake was very deep. Based on past experience, we believe there is only a small possibility strong aftershocks will occur. The agency official says people living in areas where the tremor was strong should be on the alert for falling rocks and mudslides. Residents of an island in southwestern Japan are spending a second day as evacuees. They fled the volcano that erupted with explosive force, causing them to escape by boat. NHK Wells' Takafumi Terui is on the scene with the evacuees at Yakushima Island. I'm here in front of one of the three evacuation centers where more than 20 people spent the night after escaping the volcano. They had to sleep in a meeting room on futons. In the morning, local residents served them breakfast. Mount Shindake on Kuchino Erabu Island erupted on Friday. Officials at the Japan Meteorological Agency say the eruption threw smoke and ash more than 9,000 meters into the sky. A mixture of hot gas and rock flowed down the volcano in all directions. Some reached the ocean. Officials issued the highest alert on their warning system for volcanic eruptions. Officials issued the highest alert on the warning system for volcanic eruptions. Their warning of more activity. Their warning of more activity. Nearly 140 residents were on the island at the time of the eruption. They all evacuated on orders from the local government. A professor at Tokyo University's Earthquake Research Institute told NHK that residents need to be on the alert for at least several weeks. He said potential future eruptions could be as powerful as the one on Friday. The evacuees here carried little more than a change of clothes. One of them told me that he is worried about his cat left behind in the island. They are concerned that they may not be able to go home for a long time. Many of them say they are planning to leave the area entirely. They say they'll move in with relatives in other parts of Japan. Takahumi Terui, NHK World, Yakushima, Southern Japan.